Hello and welcome to today's daily message. This uh, coming Wednesday, I'll be uh, initiating a new series of uh, talks about uh, a group of uh, Old Testament prophets who are referred to as the minor prophets. So in the first week on Wednesday, October the 9th, I'll be talking about the prophet Amos. And so my daily messages for this week will be brief reflections and kind of an introduction to the prophet Amos. So who was Amos? Well, uh, the first, let me talk a little bit about the book itself. Amos is considered the first of the so-called classical prophets. In other words, those prophets for whom a book in the Bible is named. There are other prophets who appear in the Old Testament who don't have a book named after them. People like Samuel and Nathan, Ahijah, Elijah, and Elisha. So Amos is the first to actually have a book uh, written in his name. Uh, whoever wrote the book of Amos is a quite sophisticated, learned, intelligent, wise person, which makes it uh, a little bit difficult to, to believe perhaps that he himself was the author of the book because the, the book of Amos itself describes uh, Amos as uh, a shepherd and also as a dresser of sycamores. Now, when they say sycamores, they mean the mulberry fig tree. So I, I know that's something that's very important to all of us. But he was a, a, but he was a dresser of sycamores or these uh, kinds of figs. So he comes from Tekoa. Tekoa is a, a city that's about 10 miles south of Jerusalem for those who have, have been there before. A couple things, uh, other things to note about Amos and his times. During his time, which is roughly the uh, late uh, 8th century, the time of King Uzziah of Judea and Jeroboam II of Israel. Uh, Israel was quite prosperous at this time. Contrast that with the words of Amos himself. Amos's message is the harshest and most negative of all the Old Testament prophets. He condemns the hypocrisy. He condemns the injustice of the people of Israel, especially the leadership. And he says that God has taken notice of their sins and that he will punish, that there is no way out, that what they have done has merited God's punishment and there, there is no repentance. So there are just a few little thoughts about uh, Amos. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and if you have the chance, we would love to see you at the presentation this coming Wednesday. There will be one at 9.30 in the morning and one at 7 in the evening. Thank you.